This is such a stupid idea. <laughs> Today I'm doing a triathlon with pro triathletes. Oh. This is Fenella, who just came sixth in the Ironman World Championships. Hi! And we're going to do a swim. Doing our warm up at the moment. This is just a warm up. And I'm a, a handicap with some big goggles. We thought it'd be easier if she couldn't breathe through her nose at all. We're here today to do a sprint triathlon. A swim of a sprint triathlon is 750 meters. It's an ocean swim, obviously. In swimming, in the triathlon, you can draft. All we need is some goggles and uh, some swimsuits for this one. And we're going to be doing not sprint triathlon pace. No, my Because I get dropped mind. straight away. We're going to do Ironman pace, yeah, yeah. where I'll only be dropped after five seconds. Only five seconds. So my Ironman pace. Are you tired from yesterday? I'm slightly tired. Yes. <laughs> Have you got any tips? Follow my feet. Follow her feet. <laughs> Are we ready? No! I on three, breathe. two, one! That's right. That was insane. I did, I did an Ironman yesterday. Oh, that was so hard. So I think your struggle was breathing, wasn't it? Yeah. Your lungs are right. I've got a lot of water in them. <laughs> Other than that, they're okay. Because every time you want to take a breath, you do one every like couple of strokes or three strokes, then a wave hits you. Yeah. Which doesn't happen in swimming pools. I feel like we should say a big thank you to Billy for piloting the drone. Absolute <laughs> top work. I mean, look at that. The fish. Did you film us or just the fish? A bit of both. Yeah, you probably don't use those. They swim muscles, or you're not yeah, used to using arms. your arms. <laughs> yeah. Swim muscles. Swim arms. arms. <laughs> oh. Oh. Does it look good? Not only are you doing that pace, but you're also surrounded by people in the Ironman. Yeah. There's people like, what happens if you get kicked in the face? You get kicked in the face. It's like a washing machine, literally, at the beginning. A right hook round one side, left hook round the other. I've had in races people pulling me back. I've had my wetsuit undone. Chipped my tooth, but that was in training because someone got a little bit aggressive. Well, lots Ooh. to improve on for next time. Onto the bike. With a big dog. Woo -hoo. Round two. This is the bike ride. This is Kyle. Pro triathlete, you ready? Uh, I'm a bit ready. Oh, hang on, we'll do that again. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. If you're gonna rip my legs off, I've got a big race on Saturday, so if you're gonna rip my legs off, then we'll have to come up with a compromise. Sprint triathlon, distance, yep. Ironman Watts. I've got you a present. You got me a present? Yeah. Okay. Because we're, we're in Hawaii. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. This has gotta come off then. This is my first ever Hawaiian shirt, actually. Have you got a Hawaiian shirt? No. What have you got, aero jersey? Yeah, you're a 3XL, yeah? <laughs> It's a poncho. You've done the buttons wonky as well. Dove, aero expert, how many watts is this gonna gain on race day? I'm intrigued to see how this goes. The CDA value is off the charts. Hotel lobbies, real feel, 40 degrees, humid. It's just like the real Iron Man. Only eight more of those to go, and then you've done an Iron Man. Easy. Easy. Felt good in a crosswind when it really catches. Yeah. Felt like a boat. Yeah. And you could really feel it in the headwind though. So what is your average power for? For an effort like that, but that, this is the pace that you do for Iron Man. Yeah, hopefully 320. That was 320. 320 that's, watts. 320 watts is the, well, that's the goal. This could age really badly. <laughs> How many hours do you reckon you'll be doing that for? Uh, hopefully 410. The bike record's 4, 
09. So well, hopefully about 410. Can we have a really long transition now? Hey, did you see me when I almost died in the back of the truck? I was there like I was about to give birth with my legs spread apart. I could just see you and Carl like laughing at me. The runners wear backwards hats? Yeah, forwards just hats? whatever, it, you know, because if you're running that way and it goes too fast and it's going to come off. So it's Fly aerodynamic off. to go backwards. Like, there's no risk of me running too fast. Do you reckon he's going to make the whole 5k? I reckon. I, I believe in it. Apparently the run training's been going hard. The rules do say is like what? You can run, walk, or crawl. That's a good point. So he'll finish. My goal marathon pace is gonna be 248, which is four minute per case, exactly. So that's what I'm running out at, uh, out of transition at. So we'll go for that. It's a 20 minute 5K. <laughs> You're joining us though. Let's get it. Come on, boy. Let's calibrate pace. No way, we're doing this in 20 minutes. Okay, so we're a minute 20 in. How are you feeling so far? Terrible. Terrible. It's all right, we're 500 meters in. Four and a half K to go. Right, we're losing Dove. 600 meters in. Go on, Dove. Oh. <laughs> go on, Francis. You got this, buddy. It's just all in your head, really. That's where pain exists. That's it. Almost at the turnaround. Let's go! You drop me! That's it! To be fair, though, it is brutally hot right now. Like, it is so humid. The sweat, even from running five minutes, is insane. Are you alive? You okay? <laughs> We've got our first DNF. You alright? Yeah. It's really hot, isn't it? Yeah. The heat's the killer. Yeah, it's actually brutal. It's not Newcastle. We're not in Newcastle anymore, not lad. Anymore. We're not in that tune anymore, lad. <laughs> that first three minutes at his actual pace, we slow down now. I cannot physically believe that you do that for nearly three hours. That is crazy. It's flat out for me. It could age pretty badly because uh, this race is pretty notorious for walking the marathon. So you might actually have a quicker marathon time than me on paper. 19 minutes in, legs have properly fallen off now. The heat, hardest bit, well, and the running. Heart rate, 196, no zone. No zone. <laughs> Final stretch. So close. You can see home. Heart rate's 199. Bring on the swimming pool. Finish line. Woo! 22.19. 22 something. I hope we got 5k. No, nah, I think we were slightly off. 4.85. It would have been a sub 23 minute 5k. Sub 23 minute 5k. That's TB. a PB. Woo! <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, good. There's a horse outside our Airbnb. So that was good fun. I've just about recovered. It was an absolute honor to be able to ride with those guys. And hopefully this goes to show how incredible those athletes are. I'm gonna put links down below uh, to everybody who helped with this video and the athletes themselves. So if you wanna give Kyle and Fenella a follow, follow their progress in the races, cause Kyle's racing today. A big thank you for watching and see you guys soon.